Things are heating up in the first alert weather day. A heat advisory is in effect for inland areas. Let's check back in with meteorologist Darren Peck. Well, pick out your part of the bay. Numbers today are going to be about 20 degrees above where they were yesterday. So if you look at Livermore, you're sitting well into the uh, mid and upper 90s. 85 in Redwood City is a hot day. It's going to be low 90s for San Jose. These numbers we've already done in the South Bay, you've already been here. But we have not been one degree shy of 100 in Antioch yet this year, and you are about to do that today. Watch what happens when we switch these numbers out, and just for perspective, show you what the difference is, how much hotter are these numbers than just 24 hours ago. It's a pretty significant difference. We got a big jump coming our way. So let's get into some of the forecast imagery on here. The heat risk map has been a great tool to help visualize in one quick snapshot where some of the higher degree of concern is on here. It's color coded. You get into those deep bands of red. The National Weather Service is terming that a major risk of heat related health impacts. The Bay Area is like 95% orange. Most of us are orange, except for one little small patch on here. And if we come in for a closer look at the North Bay, you can see Windsor and Napa Valley fall within that band of red with temperatures approaching 100 there. Santa Rosa should be just shy of it. We may get there in Windsor. We may get there in Napa Valley. So it's really just another way of kind of upping the degree of concern. If you're in orange, you pretty much still go about your daily routine even if you work outdoors, but you want to, you've really got to be vigilant about finding the shade and staying hydrated. If you're in the red, you probably want to put today off just from the intensity of the heat standpoint. All right, let's get into the seven day forecast now. We'll take a look at all of our microclimates on here. Inland parts of the bay show you temperatures right around 100 for the next couple of days, and then you'll cool down. Once we get into the weekend and early next week, the temperatures will have come back down to pretty much average. So this is a good representative for downtown San Jose as a Santa Clara representative. The inland microclimate we just looked at, that's all of our inland valleys, North Bay Valleys and Inland East Bay. The, we get a little bit of a break here, and as we go farther north, up the peninsula, you see the temperatures even improve a little more down here. Redwood City's numbers are going to the upper 80s today, and you'll be in the mid to upper 70s. Just to round this out, you can see the impact this has. By the time you get to Oakland, temperatures will be in the mid 80s, and you can pretty much take about five degrees off of these numbers for each day, and that gives you the San Francisco forecast. Marine layer's coming back, but it's not getting here till the end of the week.